First is from Clayton. He says, just a quick question. In your next video, can you talk a little about listing durations? Hey guys, it's Monday, November 16th. I have 22 eBay orders to ship out. I don't know what it is about the number 22. I feel like three Mondays in a row now I've had tw exactly 22 eBay orders to ship out. But anyways, let's get to work. First thing I'm shipping is an E1. And I'm pretty sure that there's more than one thing in here that's sold. So we'll just try to pull it all at once. First thing is Mario Kart Double Dash or GameCube. That sold for $49.99 for shipping. Next is... Wii Sports uh, Disc Only. I think it might be right here. Yeah, there it is. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Let's see, Super Monkey Ball for GameCube sold uh, for $27.99 free shipping. Let's see, Guitar Hero Metallica sold. I think it's in here somewhere. There it is. For Xbox 360, that sold for $24.99 free shipping. Animal Crossing sold for GameCube. Uh, it sold for $44.99 free shipping. Sold another disc only. This one right here. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 for Xbox 360. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. I sold a PC game out of here. Um, not this one. I'll say it's this one right here, the Titanic. Yeah, here we go. I got this at um, a garage sale for two bucks. So that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Let's see, I sold another disc only. Right here, Paper Mario for GameCube. That sold for $64.99 free shipping. I sold Wii Sports Resort complete with the manual for $23.99 free shipping. Let's see, I sold Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic for Xbox. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. And that is it for E1. Okay, next thing is up here in D7. It is one of these like rock candy figures. Um, I don't think it's that one. Here we go. I think it's Thor. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next thing is back at F1. So let's move this rack out of the way. I think I might have sold more than one thing out of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull the whole bin. I know the first thing I sold is a DS game right here. Uh, Tomb Raider Underworld. That sold for $15.99 free shipping. Okay, so the other thing I sold out of here is Hip Hop Dance for Wii. That sold for $10.99 free shipping. And that is it for F1. Next is an F2. This is a book I picked up at a garage sale for $0.10. Cents. It is, again, Dangerous Visions by Harlan Ellison. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is an A7. It is a mug right here. I try to keep a lot of my breakables in a box that's not a tote, just because if I put them in a tote, I'm moving the tote around, sometimes it would break. So I like to keep them separate, uh, that way they don't break. But it is this Renaissance mug from the Ohio Renaissance Festival from 2005. I've got a little under a dollar into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, next is another breakable over here in A8. It is the Speedy Gonzalez. Um, 1973 Pepsi Looney Tunes glass that I got at the garage sale for a dollar, sold for $9.99 plus shipping. You don't even mark about this glass. Mark, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing I'm pulling is an A1. This is Crash Bandicoot for Xbox. That sold for $9.99 for shipping. That game is going out to a named Omar, and he says, Been watching your YouTube videos for a long time now. One of my favorites. Keep it up, and I'll enjoy watching your future videos as well. Stay safe. Omar, thank you for the kind words, and thank you for your support. Okay, next thing is in C2. It's a die-cast car. This one right here. Uh, it is Greg Biffle, a Granger model, 124 scale. I've got $2 into that. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in B6. It is Wii Sports Resort, complete in the case. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next is in B3. This is a University of Cincinnati sweatshirt. I got it at a garage sale for $3. I don't do a whole lot with clothing, but if I can pick it up for relatively cheap and I know it'll sell, like, you know, collegiate sweatshirts do pretty good, I go ahead and pick them up because they're not too hard to list. And this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next, we're going to D4. And I sold two things out of here. Oh, dang, that tote is heavy. Okay, uh, first thing I sold is this little rock band dongle for the Wii. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And next is 
It's a PSP with some games. So here's the games. And PSP should be somewhere in here. There it is. Uh, PSP, a couple more games, the charger and everything. Uh, that sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I get a lot of requests to show how I pack and ship items, but I don't do it too often because if I showed you guys how I pack every single item, the video would be like an hour long and it would take me probably three or four hours just to edit the thing. So I think what I'm trying to start doing is each video, I'll pick one item that I'm going to pack and I will show you guys how I pack it. So this week I'm going to pick the Speedy Gonzalez glass. Glassware can be really tricky because the post office tends to break it. I've had a number of glass items show up broken and damaged over the years, so I'm always trying to improve how I pack them. And what I do now is I take some thick bubble wrap, just gonna wrap it really good, tape it up. Right, now that's nice to pack. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in one box. I think it'll fit in this one. Yeah, that should work. Now if I just shipped it out like that, it would probably make it and not break but just to give it the best chance of success of making it there unbroken, we are going to put that in another box right here. We've got some packing paper on the bottom. I'm gonna put that box down here, push it down a little bit, and then put some more packing on top. It's gonna add a little bit to the weight, it's not too much. So now it is double boxed and ready to go, and hopefully it will arrive safely. If you guys are experienced in shipping glassware and you have any tips or tricks, whatever, I'd love to hear about them. Leave a comment down below on this video. It's Tuesday morning. I have 11 eBay orders to ship out. But first, I want to answer a couple questions I've gotten from viewers. First is from Clayton. He says, just a quick question. In your next video, can you talk a little about listing durations? How long should a listing run, etc.? Thank you. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Clayton. So it used to be when you would list an item, eBay would give you options. It could be like one day, three day, five day, seven day, 10 days, and 30 days. And I think some of those changed over the years, but that was generally what they let you do. They might've taken away the one day like two or three years ago. But I think it was around a year ago, they said it's got to be all 30 day listings. It's all good till canceled basically. So they really don't give you a choice as far as that goes. Um, but if you're asking like how long you should leave a listing up, maybe that's kind of what you're getting at, you know, it really varies. Uh, it varies on a lot of things. Um, first off is like, what kind of item is it? Is it something that generally sells quick or is it a long tail item? Something that's going to take a long time to sell. So for example, if you've got a video game that has, you know, a good, track record of sales and yours hasn't sold for like three months, your price is probably too high. You know, that's something that sells quick. Um, so that's something you might want to check and just, you know, see if your prices are too high. You can go into eBay and go into your listings and it'll show you how many views it has, how many watchers it has. So if you're getting a lot of views on things, maybe it'll sell, but if you're not getting that many views, something's probably wrong. Your price is probably too high. But you know, on the other side of that, like yearbooks, for example, take a really long time to sell. So I don't think price is going to dictate it too much. Like I, I like selling yearbooks. They're not huge money makers. I just enjoy selling them. But on average, they take like a year, sometimes two years to sell because it just takes the right person to come along and get it. So, you know, case by case basis, I would take a look at what you got. I think it's a good thing to lower some things or maybe run some sales after something's been on for a few months, you know, three, four, five months, something like that. Just you know, lower it a little bit and maybe get a quicker sale. So hopefully that helped. Uh, anybody watching this, if you have tips for Clayton, leave a comment below. Next is from Todd Oliver. I know you've talked about shipping before in your videos. I have a lot of video games I would like to sell online. How are you offering free shipping? I know it's media rate, but it still seems expensive and not making really enough. 
let's say the DS game sells for $6, but shipping could cost me $3. Am I missing something? Thanks for any help. Okay, so Todd, you actually cannot ship video games media mail. Uh, they cannot go media mail. Um, all the video games that I ship, uh, free shipping, go first class mail. And they almost always ship at like a six ounce rate or less. So I know it's gonna be right around that $3 mark. Sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more, depending on where in the country I'm shipping it. But generally speaking, it costs me about $3 to ship it. And usually around eight to $10 is about as cheap as I'll go and include free shipping. If I sell it for eight bucks, shipping is three so i'm down to five and usually i only do that if i got next to nothing in the game if i you know i've got maybe a quarter 50 cents in the game um and i know it's gonna sell quick yeah i'll list it for eight dollars for shipping because i know it's gonna take me two minutes to list it it's gonna take me 30 seconds to pack the thing and you know i'm happy with that return because i know it's gonna sell quick video games sell really fast you know everybody's different uh you got to figure out what your your point is of like making money and worth your time and everything so yeah, maybe don't list the $6 games free shipping. Maybe just set those aside and then do a big bundle of games after you get a bunch of them. Hope that helps, Todd. All right, time to ship orders. First thing is over here, D4. It is this PlayStation Move controller. Got this up in Piqua. Uh, this sold for $16.99 free shipping. Next is an E1. Conquer Live and Reloaded for Xbox. I think I had this listed for like $40 free shipping. Somebody sent me an offer of $35 free shipping, and I accepted. Next is in D3. It is a Sega Master System, also something I got up in Piqua. Um, didn't have controllers or power cord or any of that stuff, so I had to sell it as is. Sold for $27.99 plus shipping. Next is in A2. This is a Pokemon card tin from 2016 that sold for $24.99 free shipping. Okay, we're going back to D4. I guess I could have just stayed in that bin. Okay, I sold a knife in here somewhere probably in a little bag go ahead and pull this i'm pretty sure i sold this little white thing yeah this is a uh, guitar hero uh wireless dongle for a ps2 that sold for 17.99 free shipping also something i got up in piqua and here's that knife um this is a buck knife i've got a dollar 50 into this that sold for 13.99 free shipping thanks for coming to b4 this is a Wii U Nintendo Land game that sold for $8.99 free shipping. Okay, next is an A1. This is a PSP that I got uh, up in Pickwall with all the video game stuff. It powered on, wouldn't play a game, had to sell it as is for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a watch in C1. I'm going to take this out of the packaging because this is a really cool watch here. This is just a little bag that I put it in. This is a vintage guest watch. I just thought it had a really cool look to it. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. If you were named Noah about this watch, Noah, thank you for the business. Really hope you like the watch. This is over here in A8. It is a little mug right here. Stucky's Coffee Club. Bought this about a month ago as part of a bulk buy from a guy I buy from on a regular basis. I've probably got $10 into this. Sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Next is an A3. This is a PS4. Uh, powered on, wouldn't uh, like transmit any kind of sing signal to the TV, so it wouldn't play a game or anything. Um, also something I got up in Piqua. Uh, sold it as is for parts or repair for $59.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday morning, I've got four orders to ship out. First is down here in C6. It is this LA Dodgers hat. Uh, got this for 50 cents at a garage sale, sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is up here, it's one of these snowmen. Not this one, but the one behind it, right here. I got this um, up in Piqua, not the last time I went, but the time before. And I probably got about five bucks into it, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next, we're going to A3, and I sold two things out of here. So I'm pulling the whole bin. First thing is some 8-track tapes right here. There's four of them, all Beatles. These sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And the last thing is at the bottom. Also, something I got from Piqua. This is a PS4. It's in really bad shape. It's got some cracks, uh, as is. Danny and Parker told me that. They're like, look, this thing doesn't work, so it's just going to be parts. But it's still sold. It's sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, before I end this video, I've got some mail I want to open. This is from Angie's Oddities. Oh, that's cool. Little Reds plush thing. How cool is that? All right, we got a note. 
Dear John, we just want to thank you for all you have taught us. Due to being furloughed, my husband and I started selling on eBay. We love it. We have made enough to pay off our car and two credit cards. That is awesome. We can't thank you and all the resellers for teaching us and helping us learn. Sincerely, Steve and Angie from Angie's Oddities. Thanks, Steve and Angie. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.